people need to be held accountable more so for their own actions. The, the people that are involved in incidents like that seem to get a lesser punishment than the bars. Jennifer Zagata manages Kelly's in Columbia's Vista and has been in the restaurant business for 16 years. She spent part of that time in Five Points and has seen her fair share of problems in the popular entertainment district. Seeing people have massive brawls in the street. While she says too much to drink may have led to fights, she adds bartenders can't always know how much someone has consumed and pointing fingers is not the solution. Many times you have a group of people come in, they sit down at a table, one person goes up to the bar and orders the five drinks and takes it over to them. Bar the bartender never sees that person. How, how is the bartender supposed to know you know, that that person's been overserved. They're down there selling dollar shots, dollar beers, dollar drinks all night to anybody who can put a dollar up on the counter. And that is leading to a lot of the problems that we're having down there. City Councilman Cameron Runyon sees things differently. And after a violent weekend in five points that included gunshots and two assaults, the city will look at over-serving and underage drinking as factors in that kind of activity. Bar owners down there who are shoveling dollar drinks down people's throats all night. That's what they cater on. That's the way their entire business model is, is, is built around that concept of volume, volume, volume. Well, when you're talking about volume of alcohol, there are serious consequences to that. If you have stiffer penalties on the people that are going out and overindulging and getting in these fights and underage drinking, crack down on them and that's going to deter it. There are different opinions on how to do that, but everyone agrees increased safety is a must sooner as opposed to later. In Columbia, Rob Starkey, Watch Fox News.